So I'm going to show you today how to set up Salesforce for social media. We mentioned on Friday that uh, this is a pretty easy setup process, so uh, just going to show you how we can do that. So I'm logged into my uh, Salesforce environment. Um, I'm actually logged into the call center area, but if I just select down to the area that says Salesforce for social media, okay. there's a little bit of setup we need to do here to make sure we're searching for the right types of information. So I've already set up my Twitter account. I've got a personal Twitter account I can use. I also want to set up some Twitter keywords to make sure that we're searching for the right uh, types of information. So uh, I've set up a uh, search name here, Twitter post for at regged. So I've got the search, keyword search for at regged. So any post with that, uh, that uh, string in there will, will be picked up. So if I come over to conversations, I go into my Twitter conversations area. And I hit the uh, Get Conversations button. So this is going to ask me now, for what search What search am I looking for? I could have several searches, might be looking for different terms for different types of uh, business cases. But if I run those selected searches, the system is now thinking about it. And it's created uh, 26 uh, conversations. So I go back in the system here and uh, just go to a slightly better screen. So here I can actually see the conversations laid out in uh, ascending sequence. I can do them in descending sequence, so I can get the uh, most up to date, most uh, the oldest, etc., to the top of the bottom of the screen. So uh, I can change this layout as, as I wish to. A couple of key bits of information here, though. I've got a couple of columns here: contact, lead, and case. So from this uh, user interface, we can actually directly create a contact or a lead or a case. So I'm just going to pick on one of these posts. Now this is a real-time feed, so I want to be a little bit sensitive to what I'm doing here. There's a user here called Lorraine Carver. So this is a real-time post that she's put in, into the system uh, on the 18th, which is actually last Friday. And I've got a number of options here. I can actually create the contact, or I can create a lead, or if I move across, I can create a case. Now I'm going to create a case, but just want to bring your attention to a few more of these other other fields here. So I can actually mark them as reviewed. I can create solutions. I can say they're solved by the community. So I've got a number of different options here I can. So as a user, I've got a number of different ways I can handle this dashboard to make it a very simple, very easy sort of a, a use case to handle. So let me hit the Create Case button. So what it's going to do now is just going to create a case directly from that Twitter post. And what it does, it creates a convenient link actually in line here. So I got the actual case being created. So say this Twitter post actually mentioned some issue that that particular user was having. I can actually see the detail of the post if I click on the hyperlink here. So it's a retweet of some compliance uh, document that's been already created. But it just shows you the sort of flexibility I have here. Uh, so I can actually come in here, I can actually look at the author, I can look at her profile. I can actually see the case here, so everything's been posted in line. In line. So I can see the status is new, priority is medium. Again, now if I look towards the uh, top of the screen here, I've got a few more options again, very similar to the options we've seen before. I can do a thumbs down, thumbs up, neutral, so I can basically respond, respond back to this live post. Now again, this is a live post, so I don't wish to do any of that at this stage. I can also then post the chatter if I want to post this information to chatter. But at this stage, I just want to go in and actually review that particular case. So let's drill into that case 1528. It actually brings in the subject, the, 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 uh, the Twitter post as the subject line. It's got me as the case owner. I've got the status as medium, etc. So here's the basic case I can create. So directly from that Twitter post, I can create that case. So let's just come back to that conversations panel just to review where we've been. So we were able to go into the system, set up some Twitter searches, pull in some uh, appropriate posts. There are 27 posts that, that we pulled in here. On one of them, I actually created a, a case. I could have created a lead or created a contact as I wish. So it's a very simple process to set up uh, Salesforce for social media.